Hey, what's up, dudes? We are back for another tutorial today, but I'm trying something a little bit different with the uh, the aspect ratio of this recording. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But today we're here with the new transition tool inside of OBS. It's a brand new plugin. It came out of, uh, you know, a little couple days ago, weeks ago. I don't know. We're going to check it out today. I'm going to show you guys exactly how cool it is transitioning from one scene to another to another, going from one place to another and having each transition be something different so you don't have to just fade to everything you don't have to cut to everything and you can manually choose what you want to transition to and how and and what you want it to be and everything and it's much easier than what we used to have to do using transition override and it was kind of like a giant grid you'd have to like select like you would have to look on the grid and kind of figure out like what scene goes to here and that's going to change that it doesn't matter but now it's a little bit more simple so we're going to jump right on in i'm going to show you guys exactly how to set this up and where to get it and where to download it and uh this is called Transition Table, and it's a brand new OBS plugin, so we're gonna jump right on in. Okay, so now that we're at our uh, our desktop here, I'm just gonna go ahead and come down and open up uh, an instance of Chrome and open up to the Open Broadcaster forums, and uh, that's gonna be where people usually put plugins and whatnot. I've told you this in the past, maybe go check these plugins out because there's always something new popping up every now and then. So this is Transition Table 0.1.2, and you can go ahead and just simply download it with this little button right here. Uh, but if you want to scroll through and kind of see what it does, uh, you can go ahead and just scroll through and check it out. Uh, once you get it downloaded, you're going to get a file that looks uh, that is zipped. You're going to have to unzip it. All you do is just right click and hit extract all and, and that's it. But once you actually have the file, it's a very simple uh, installation process. You just download the uh, the installer.exe. And uh, when you double click on that, it'll bring you through the steps of setting it up and installing it to uh, your 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 OBS. So It'll automatically take you to the steps to make it happen. I've already done it, so I don't really need to have that anymore. So we're going to go ahead and open up an instance of OBS. And I've already set up uh, this OBS to have a bunch of scenes over here. So we got our full camera scene. We have our gameplay scene. We have our B right back screen. And we have our ending, uh, ending stream scene. So we have four scenes. And I'm going to show you guys how to transfer between each one of them a little bit different. Once you get the... Uh, the plugin installed, if you just come up to tools and you scroll down, you're going to see a brand new thing called transition table. And when you open that up, it's going to give you this little, uh, this little dialog box here. And if I go ahead and just blow this up a little bit, so you're not too distracted by my background, you're going to see that, uh, you have a from a to a transition, a duration, a little, uh, a little check box right here and a set button. Now I'll go over, uh, what all these are, but before we actually jump in and start to do this stuff, we want to set up some transitions. OBS already has a bunch of transitions set up inside of itself. So if you come down here where it shows fade, you have cut, fade, and stinger. But below that, you also have, you have it add a uh, swipe, a slide, a stinger, a fade to color, luma wipe, and shader. So, uh, and some of these come with uh, different plugins and whatnot. Over here, I'm going to add a luma wipe as a stinger. And now we're going to take a look. We're just going to add something kind of wild here. Maybe the sinus nine, I can always preview it. That looks pretty good. Maybe I want something a little bit crazier. Hey, that looks nice. So we're actually going to increase the uh, the softness maybe a little bit. That's going to make the... Yeah, that looks good. I like it. So I'm going to hit OK. Now that is one stinger that we just set up to transfer between our different scenes. So if I actually swap scenes right now, you can see it's doing that that nice little, uh, little loop de loop there. And if I actually set this to a higher millisecond duration you can actually see it's going to take a lot longer and it's a lot more smoother so we're going to add another uh, stinger but we're going to call this one we're going to go ahead and fade to a color hit okay i'm going to select the color as bright green and i'm going to hit preview looks pretty good all right i'm going to leave it like that hit okay and we can uh, go ahead and test that because it's selected as our uh, scene transition here so again fade to color that's the one we just created and when i switch it goes to fade to green and it goes to uh the thanks for watching scene so pretty cool. Uh, we're going to add just one more just for giggles. And we're going to call this one. Um, we're going to do a, a nice little slide here. So I'm going to hit slide. I'm going to go OK. And uh, we're going to have it slide down from down. I'm going to preview that. You can see that's what it does. Hit OK. And I'm going to leave it on the 1000 milliseconds again. And uh, you can see when it changes, it takes one full second to go ahead and slide between the different scenes. Now, what if you don't want each one of these to transfer using that same transition well here's what you do you go back up here to tools you go down to transition table and this is where you start to uh, play around with it so you got to look at it as like anytime you're in any one of these scenes that you've created down on the bottom left in the scenes you're going to be once you're in that scene you're given the option to go to any other scene and choose how you get to that scene so let's say i'm at my full camera scene which i am right now and i come over here to the 
let's say I want to go to my gameplay, but I don't want to cut, I don't want to fade, I want to do the Luma wipe. And I want that Luma wipe to be, let's call it 1500 milliseconds. That looks pretty good. And I just hit set. Now, when I do that, it's going to show me that this is already uh, locked in, shows that at 100, uh, 1,500 milliseconds, so that's a, that's a second and a half. So now that we have the Luma wipe from full cam to gameplay, I can go ahead and hit close. And I'm just going to double check. We're going to set this to cut. That way, anytime I, you know, I, I switch scenes, it's just going to straight cut. But if we are in full camera and I switch over to gameplay, you're going to see it does, it does the transition right here, which is exactly what we wanted. And when I go back, it's going to straight cut because I haven't set that one yet. So again, we go back up to tools, back down to transition table. You can see all of our transitions so far, and I can go ahead and start adding a bunch. So anytime I'm in full camera, I'm going to go ahead and select full camera. And anytime I select uh, B, the, the B right back screen, I actually want that to do a nice slide. And I'm going to have that set. And then when I go from full camera to the scene ending stream, I'm going to have that go to... Let's just do a nice simple fade, but we're gonna have a fade for 2000 milliseconds. I'm gonna hit set. And you can see as I'm adding these, it's not showing a list anymore. But if you go ahead and just uh, select these back to nothing, you'll start to see all your, your different transitions. So I can see all the, uh, the available options here. We have our full camera going into be right back. We have our full camera going into gameplay. And again, we're gonna go back, do the full camera and set that on over to the ending stream. And when we do that, we want that fade and we wanna fade for 2000 seconds, hit set and hit close. And so now if I'm in my full camera scene here and I swap over to gameplay, we have the nice transition. Let's go back to a uh, camera. And now if I go from full camera to be right back, you're gonna see it's a nice 2000 second long, that's two second long uh, transition. And again, if I go back to full camera, it's gonna instant cut. And then I can switch over to my ending stream. And again, it's a nice long fade. So you can see that both of our going from full screen to the other two scenes was doing the exact same transition. So if I go back into my scene transition, you're going to see, oh, this one has fade. Oh, they're both set to the exact same thing. So what I want to do is I want to change this one. So I'm going to go back to full camera and we're going to change the B right back. And we're going to change this over to something different. But first, I want to go ahead and just select it and delete it. Now we're going to check, uh, check something new. So I'm going to go ahead and go with slide and we're going to slide for 1000 seconds. It's set and close. And now if I go to the BR back, it's going to slide on in. And just like that, we are good to go. So that's it. Now that we have those, uh, now you have to do it for the rest of them. And if you want something global, this is where you set the global transition. So if I have everything set to fade, everything's going to fade unless I have something in the transition table set. So if I don't have something here that's in the transition table and I go from my BR back screen to gameplay, you're going to see it's going to take 1000 seconds because I have it fading for 1000 seconds. And again, if I switch over to full camera, it's going to do a nice fade. And just like that, that is it. That's the whole uh, tutorial. Very simple, very cool. And it allows you to implement multiple stingers. Maybe you have multiple different types of stingers and uh, or videos or something like that that you want to transition in between each and every scene. And this is the way you do that. Really simple, really easy. And it's a really cool, powerful plugin. And it doesn't take too much mental power to go ahead and uh, wrap your head around uh, how it works. It's very simple. You have your from, your to, your transition type, your duration, and you have your uh, your set. Again, once you hit set, it locks it in. Uh, and if you want to just delete everything, this is what this box is for right here. You click on that and you hit delete and it deletes it all. So you don't have to worry about it. So that's the end of this uh, simple tutorial. Hopefully uh, this helped you guys out. Uh, I wanted to keep this nice and sweet and simple. I wanted to test out the new aspect ratio. So Feel free to comment down below, like the like the video, it would help me out, man. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. I also got a ton of other content on the rest of this uh, this channel, so go check out the other tutorials and whatnot from cameras, lighting, uh, settings, OBS, plugins, all this kind of stuff, man. And I'm going to keep making more and more and more, and I got more videos coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.